Well, it's time to take a look at the 2017 Faith Challenge. We spent the past three weeks talking about daily Bible reading and daily prayer. How are you doing with that first step in our spiritual workout? Maybe you haven't gotten into the daily habit yet. Well, the good news is it's never too late to start again. If daily Bible reading and daily prayer are a part of your lives already, well then congratulations, keep mm. going. Remember, talking with God is as simple as talking with a friend. Before you get out of bed in the morning, start your day just having a short conversation with God. You know, the more you work on the habit, the more your relationship and your trust in God will grow. Well, Andy, we're in the month of February now. Yes, we are. You've got your Valentine's Day tie pre prepping for next week. That's right. We might bring out the big white jacket next week. We'll see. <laughs> well, how see can you best love yourself? Hmm. We talk about love in the month of February. Well, our second step in our 12-step workout is on personal repentance and forgiveness. Hmm. Forgiving ourselves. Wow. This isn't always the easiest thing to look into, especially considering it requires us to look into some of the the darker things in our lives, the things that we're not always uh, wanting to face. But before we can move forward with forgiving others and the other steps this year, we need to recognize that we are a sinner. We need God's forgiveness and that freedom that comes, we can move forward. So we're talking about repentance this month. That's right. A very specific spiritual discipline that, we, like Jennifer said, we need to forgive ourselves. God will forgive us for whatever we've done as long as we get out of it. <laughs> we can't just say, no. God, forgive me. Let me dive right back into the muck, into the mess. He wants us to change, and repentance is that change agent. It's where we are walking one direction away from God, and we make a 180. We turn and walk back in the direction of God. And that's where all the chains and shackles start to fall off. Sometimes it's immediately uh, the sin that held us in bondage. Sometimes it takes time and work and other people that are coming alongside us to hold us accountable and walk that journey together. But